Hey guys, my name is Katrina and I'm an artist on TikTok. That sounds stupid, but I mean... I've been trying to diversify my following in case TikTok gets banned. I know that I could use a VPN and say that I'm from Canada and still use TikTok, but 93% of my audience is from the US and how many of them are going to get a VPN just to watch my content? Probably not that many. I'm sorry for my appearance. I look kind of junky because I've been outside working on the vending machine all day, sweating. It's too hot in Kansas right now. I've become known on TikTok for paint making and chicken nugget clocks, which sounds really weird, but I like doing different kinds of things and anything can be art. And it was, it started as a joke and now I've sold like 17 chicken nugget clocks. So that's exciting. If you want a chicken nugget clock, <laughs> Check out my Etsy. A couple weeks ago, Danocracy, he tried to make a chicken nugget clock and he spent hundreds of dollars and it was altogether difficult and uh, there's no reason for that. He overcomplicated it for himself. I should have made this video a long time ago. All right, well, I've talked long enough. You've probably clicked out of the video already, but if you want to learn how I make chicken nugget clocks, Keep watching, let's get into it. Here's this whole tub. This tub is what I use for a mold for the clocks. Got this at Hobby Lobby for like eight bucks. Step one, clean your mold and uh, there's price tag for you. Okay, and now that we washed her, it's gotta be extra dry or resin won't set up properly. This is the pigment I use that gives it its nugget color. So I'm gonna do this on my stove. I suggest you don't. But I'm gonna get some wax paper so that it won't stick to my stove if it drips out. I made these molds myself. I have to hot glue them because I ripped it. This is what I was talking about when I made my life easier is instead of filling it up all the way, I'm only gonna fill it up like this much. I switched from real nuggets to resin nuggets for peace of mind and with real nuggets or if I make it the size of real nuggets then I have to dremel so I can fit the back of the clock in. If I make them smaller I don't have to do that. So that's my main hack for you. Make sure you put on gloves on both hands because resin is a carcinogenic which means if you inhale it a lot or if it touches your skin too much when it's not cured it can cause cancer in the long run so this brand of resin I really don't like and I won't use because it is sticky half the time no matter how well you measure it. But it doesn't matter if the nuggets are a little bit bendy, a little flexible because they're going to be inside a whole block of resin, of good quality resin. I'm just going to mix these together and I'll show you how much pigment I have. Another thing is you want to set a timer for at least two minutes and mix it continually making sure you scrape the sides and the bottom otherwise it won't mix properly. A timer two minutes, two to three minutes, depending on the size of that. Very important. So I'm just gonna add this much pigment. I don't measure, I just, it's at the 40 and there's no point in wasting the pigment essentially because it won't really get a whole lot darker. Now I'm gonna mix it for another minute and then pour it into the mold. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in here and I do recommend you get silicone cups because silicone cups just make your whole life easier. You don't throw away as much trash, they're reusable, whatever, and then you popsicle sticks or something you can throw away to mix it or get a silicone spatula, I guess. This is the resin that I like, so let's open her, but this brand. It's $45 for a half gallon of resin. Store it in here in case it spills. Some clear resin, I'm just gonna put that in there. You always wanna do this and then let this set and cure, otherwise things might poke through the front. I really like to have a smooth finish. Once you get it in there, it's all right, just here are my 12 resin nuggets that I've made and she wanted flowers because it's a gag gift for her mom and if it's pretty it's more likely to stay on the wall for longer. Before putting the nuggets in you need to put another small layer on and this will prevent air bubbles. But I like to set up outside of the mold so I can see how I want them. Okay now that I have them set up Make sure you flip them upside down, of course, and then put them in there. And then I like line it up with the tag, and that's how I keep them straight. Make sure you move it around in the resin to prevent the air bubbles. Okay, 
So now you're gonna wanna put the flowers in, and I'm gonna put them just in the middle, I think, because there's not a lot of room on the outside of the nuggets, of course. And then I'm gonna put a little bit over the flowers because they'll float. But then you wanna wait till it's tacky because, again, they'll float. That way you don't have to waste a lot of resin. Because I want a final layer, my colors to be the last layer, I'm gonna trim these so that they're the height that I want, so the same height as the nuggets. Okay, as you can see, I have the pigment put in all of them. One is gonna be purple, one blue, one white, and one with just gold flakes. And I did that because blue and purple are complementary colors to yellow and orange. My goal is to give it like a marbling effect. how there's some things above the outside of the resin that I poured last. I'm gonna take my handy dandy Dremel and Dremel those off before putting the last clear coat on. I'm just gonna wipe this out before I put the last layer of resin. Here is the finished nugget clock. I do really like how this one turned out. Because I know you'll be curious, this is what the back looks like. All right, now we just need to drill a hole in the middle. So this is a size drill bit that you'll need. Five and sixteenth. So let's just go drill it. So I like to just hold it off to the corner of a cabinet. This is how a clock set that you can buy will come looking like. However, I buy ones that have a longer metal part. I'm gonna go put the clock parts on and show you the finished thing, probably outside. I forgot to mention that before I put the clock parts in, I dremel the edges, because as you can see, the edges are really rough when it comes out of the mold. This is the dremel that I use. I got it at Walmart. It was like 20 bucks. You can also use regular sandpaper if you want to, but dremels make it so much faster. with the hands. I haven't taped them up for shipping yet. As you can see, there's a wall hanging here. My hands are so weak. Here it is in natural light. Honestly, I love the back. So well, that's where I'm gonna leave today's video. I'm not gonna film an outro with my face, but if you have any questions, let me know. I will link below the resin that I use, and I would link the mold that I use, but I make it myself, and my next video will show you how. I already, I'm not gonna lie, I already filmed it, and it's um, a struggle, to say the least. Molds are not my specialty. So anyways, if you have any questions, Leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next week with making a mold.